Okay, so question number 18 is like a question that will come out in exam or maybe during your uh, assignment. So, what is the questions? The first part is to sketch the curve y squared equal to 12 of 3 minus x. So, what is y squared? So, it's not the already a function we used to know. So, we have to eliminate this square. So, it will be square root. No? So, square root of 12, 3 minus x. Don't forget the plus and minus. So, it's actually a third function. So, how to sketch a third function? First of all, we have to find what is the critical point. So, how to find the critical point? It's a, we need to let everything inside the third equal to 0. So, 12 of 3 minus x equal to 0. So, 3 minus x equal to 0. So, x equal to 3. So, this is the, uh, critical point so when 3 equal to uh, when x equal to 3 so y equal to 0 and then this function on the first quadrant <coughs> we need to know where is this uh, function going so 3 minus x so everything inside here should be uh, equal, um, more than 0 why because we cannot have negative value inside a set function so 3 minus x must be more than 0 so 3 is more than x so x should be less than 3 so our our domain for this function should be always less than 3 so the graph should be going to the left okay left and up because the positive one should be up lah. and then if we have the negative one it should be down right but because we want the uh, the curve on the first quadrant so we jet we can ignore the the one for the negative okay so we have only this graph okay so the next part is a is a region bounded by the axis in the first quadrant so we have axis x and y so if it's under the the curve y squared equal to 12 of 3 minus x so then the region should be this region lah. right okay and then the next part what we need to do the question asks you to find the area of a so the area under the curve a so directly you can use the yes you can use the uh, formula so you can either find the error respect to x exists or to y exists so if we have the if we need to use the y x uh, x exists then we have to find what is our y only not y square or you can use the y exists so we have to let x as the subject so it's, let's say uh, we use the y exists so we have y squared over 12 equal to 3 minus x so x is equal to 3 minus y squared over 12 so the area is equal to integrating from what is this volume this value sorry this value so when x equal to 0 right this is when x equal to 0 y equal to 12 multiplied by 3 which is 36 so 36 ah Okay, that is for y squared. So, if for y, it should be 6. Lah. So, we just have to find what is the value of y when x equal to 0. So, square root of 12 of 3. So, this is 36. So, equal to 6. So, plus and minus 6. So, this one for first quadrant, it should be plus 6. Lah. So, we are integrating from 0 to 6 of a function. x minus, uh, sorry, x block. 3 minus y squared over 12 respect to y so integrate this one so you will get the answer don't forget so you can i just i want to skip for this part you just you do on your own okay so we have done for the part a for part b question b what is the question asks you to find okay V1, the volume of the solid re, solid of revolutions obtained by revolving the region A about the x-axis. So, uh, about the x-axis. So, what is the formula? If it's about the x-axis, 
so volume should be pi of the limit so we have the value of 0 to 3 right for x and then y squared so what is y squared directly we can use 12 of 3 minus x so 12 of 3 minus x respect to x okay so this 12 is a constant we can take out as a coefficient so 0 3 of 3 minus x respect to x so integrate 3 minus x we have 3x minus x squared over 2 from 2, 0 to 3. So solve for this one. So you get the answer lah, for the question B. How about C? How about C? So we have V2, the volume of the solid revolution obtained by revolving the region A about the y axis. So for y axis, what is the formula? So the volume should be pi of c to d okay the value for the y and then x squared respect to y so what is our x squared we have our x here so you had you just have to find what is x square uh, so what do we have for c and d so we have 0 to 6 and x is equal to 3 minus y squared over 12 all square so can we just directly integrate without doing anything no we, we don't have any formula for this y squared we only have a formula that already we can use from the basic rules which is if it is a linear but for this one is a quadratic so what we need to do just a simpler way is to expand yes because it's a square so we have only two factors we'll expand so what do we get here we have nine and then multiply negative 3 over 12 so 6y squared over 12 and then plus with y squared over 1 4 4 right <clears throat> respect to y so this is after we expand so this is equal to y squared over 2 and now we just have to integrate each of it now so we have 9y minus y to the power of 3 over 6 and then this one y to the power of 3 over 144 multiplied by 3 is 720 from 0 to 6 okay and then you just have to solve for the answer final answer okay and then we have the last part of the question c and show that v1 to v2 is equal to 15 to 8 so you just have to compare the volume 1 and volume 2 lah so nothing nothing big nothing extraordinary here you just have to use your ratio to solve for this one to show that it is equal to 15 to 8 okay